make it pretty rough on us in there, don't they, old man? I said, Mr. Cartwright, you'll buy yourself a whole new herd with what you earn on those shares. Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Feeling, I don't usually invest in gold mines. But I guess a little diversification is a pretty good thing now, then. Then shall we call it a deal? Yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> I got the certificates out of my safe and be back in a few minutes. All right, I'll be, uh, I'll be inside here. Have yourself some whiskey, friend. Well, oh, thank you, friend. I think I'll just stay with the beer. Thank you. Oh, me. This is going to be a night. Are you, uh, you celebrating? A hard-working man don't need nothing better than Saturday night for celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's your right. That <laughs> there's gold dust. <laughs> Been having a run of luck in Downeyville. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. He's done his mind a good shake, and the man could collect himself a fair stake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, half breed, bring me a beer. My boy has got a name. I called him by his name. Half-breed. <laughs> Things get some my shirts around here at times. Yeah, I can see that. Jenkins is my name. You a stranger in town? Well, I'm here in some business. I'll be leaving first thing in the morning. Just stay clear of big Charlie Monaghan. She cheats them cards. I remember that. I ain't telling you no lie. I lost my first stake to big Charlie. Cleaned down to my mule and my pickaxe. I was out of here, then. Seeing how you're a stranger in town and won't tell. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Huh? I'm going to get things evened up. Old Jenkins is going to get even with Big Charlie tonight. Oh, well, uh, why don't you hold off till morning? Things will look a whole lot different. I had this notion for a good long while. It's only good I ever did have. And I'm going to get it off my mind tonight. <laughs> Somebody's got to show him. And I'm just the one that can do it. <laughs> I see you've met old Jenkins, Mr. Cartwright. Old Jenkins, uh, well, he sure was making some threats. Oh, Jenkins is always threatening to do something. He's always mad at somebody. He seemed pretty determined. <laughs> Folks in Downeyville don't take that old codger serious anymore. No reason why you should. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right.
What's the matter, friend? Feeling a little tired this morning? I done it, friend. You done what? Burn down Big Charlie Shack. Burn him out of everything he has. Burn it clean to the ground. Oh, he had a grand blaze while it lasted. Uh, you know something, friend? The taste of ashes is bitter, isn't it? That's right. It ain't that he didn't deserve it. And there ain't a man in Donnyville that wouldn't like to see Big Charlie get done in. Do you realize what a terrible thing you've done? I do now. Well, what are you going to do about it? I, I just don't know. I reckon I'll have to own up to it. But I'm scared if, if I do, he's going to knock me crosswise. Might have been a good idea if you thought of that last night. Where's this place you're talking about? It's just over on the other side of town there. What's left of it? A couple of miles. Well, I, I gotta be getting home. Friend. Would you? What do I want? Well, I... I hate to go over here and face them all by myself alone. Would you? Make you feel better if I went with you? Would you? Well, you just wait right there. I gotta go round up Snowy Sue. <laughs> she got lost in the freakers last night. I gotta go find her. Snowy Sue! Get her from you. Snowy Sue! Where is it? Where's that? Snowy Sue! Where is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Good job, Come on. Done this, I'll kill him. So help me. How many is that miner you beat up in town, huh? No, nobody felt my fist had come near this place. They wouldn't dare. I don't know why I hang around this town anyway. There's a lot better places than this rotten hole. You ain't thinking of pulling out, are you, Pa? What's to keep me here? This? Yeah. This. And grave. Remember how it was when your mother was alive? We all tried to live fine, happy. Bother nobody. Remember how it was, Charlie, too? I remember, Pa. I loved your mother. She was a Shoshone. They wore her down with her. Insults and their hate and it killed her. That's why I've been stealing them blind ever since for what they've done to her. I remember Ma crying. Even her own people turned against her. Marrying a white man, me. So both white and Indian treated her like dirt. The way they treat you now. Well, I don't care about them. I don't need them. You don't need anybody. As long as you get the first jump. Because it's them that steals before they get robbed. And shoots before they get shot that survive in this world. You hear me, boy? I hear you, Pa. Well, you do the other fella before he does you. That's what I've been trying to drum into you ever since your mother died. And don't you forget it. Pa, if, if you pull out, you ain't gonna leave me alone, are you? Oh, well. Come along, if you want it. I'll come with you, Pa. There ain't no reason why me and Big Charlie can't talk this out, is there? Well, Charlie wants to talk. Look, I've been having a run of luck lately. I, I got more than enough to help him build a new shack. Well, why don't you tell him that right off? I aim to. Good. Ah, oh, come on. There's no 
nothing left here we can use. Hey, Pa. Uh, oh. Yeah. Into town. I want the one who done this. Oh, right over there. I sure am much obliged to you, friend, for coming all this way out here with me. Much obliged to you. Well, uh, don't you want me to go the rest of the way? I gotta face up to him sometime alone. Well, you're gonna have to do that, all right. You sure you want to do it now? I'm sure. Come on, Snorri Sue, let's go. Yeah. He didn't even have a gun. So, he'd be just as dead if he had. Just take that gun out real easy. Throw it over here. Don't you try anything, son. You killed him. Yeah. He came here to say that he was sorry for what he'd done. He said it? He wanted to pay you. Well, we better get into town and see the sheriff. Oh, it's fine. He burnt me out. You killed him, and he didn't have a gun. Put him on his mule. Mister, you give me any trouble, I'll see you dead. Why don't you stay for the hanging, Mr. Cartwright? Oh, I've seen plenty of them in my time, Mr. Fielding. It's going to be a special day for Downeyville. You don't get to see a thing like this every day. Uh, are you sure now you can't stay on a bit? No, I got some stops to make before I get home. Well, this is our first legal hanging, you know. It's a far cry from the length of rope and a handy tree. Progress is what it is. You'll have real progress, Mr. Fielding, when there won't be any more need for hangings. When men stop settling the differences with guns. What about Monaghan's son? Well, if he's got any sense, he'll go to his mother's tribe. You think they'll accept him? Maybe, maybe not. But he never did fit in here. They don't cotton the Indians. Never was one you could trust. The boy get a chance here in Donovan, Mr. Fielding? Well, folks don't want him here. That's not your problem, Mr. Cartwright. Here's your son, like you asked. Leave us alone. You just got a couple of minutes. That'll be enough. I didn't know you were still around. No place else to go. Pa, I uh, wish I could have helped you the way you always done for me. It's too late for that now. Where you been sleeping, boy? Oh, I pitched camp down by the creek. There's no reason for you to hang around Downeyville any longer. I got some place for you to go after... after the hanging. 
Where's that, Pa? You're gonna do something for me, boy. You're gonna give me your word on it right now. What is it? Nobody. Nobody would ever found that Jenkins. Nobody would have missed him if it hadn't been for Cartwright. You and me, we'd be free and running if it hadn't been for him. Cartwright, Charlie, too. Well? You want me to kill him? Yes. I'm gonna die like a run chicken at the end of that rope. Hold on account of Ben Cartwright. And I won't die peaceful until you say you're gonna get him. I want to wipe him clean off the face of the earth. No man ever did wrong to a money and lived to tell of it. And you're gonna see that it stays that way, you hear me, boy? Yes, Pa. Then swear it. Take an oath, Charlie, too. Swear it. You hear me, boy? Swear it! On your father's grave, swear it! I swear it. Calvin, we appreciate your coming all the way out here. Oh, I had to see the marshal in Carson City. Wasn't any trouble stopping here. Well, we're glad you did. Charlie Toole will probably go off to join the Shoshones and never give a thought to his promise. But I thought you would to know about it. Well, I better be on my way. Thank you, Jim. Charlie, well. Thanks again, Sheriff. Have a good trip. Thank you very much. What do you think, Joe? I don't know. It could be nothing. I think I'll ride to Downingville by way out and see if I can't find Pa. What if you don't find him? I'll see if I can track down this Charlie, too. Yeah. I'll go with you. No, no, you better stay here. Warn Pa in case I miss him. What happens if you find this Charlie, too? Then what? I don't know. All I know is there's a man somewhere with an oath to kill Ben Cartwright. Gotta find Pa before he does. Help me, I'm uh, looking for a fellow named Charlie Two. You know where he is? Charlie Two? You a friend of that half-breeds? I don't remember talking to you. Well, whether you remember or not, if you're a friend of that dirty Indian, we don't want you around here. Then why don't you mind your own business? I think I will. <laughs>
Get the sheriff. Thanks. I come for my pa's wages. There. That's all he had coming? That's right. What happened? He drew on me with my back turned. This fella shot first, saved my life. That right? You saw what happened, tell him. It's like he says. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, what do you want? I want to thank you. What for? What you did for me in there. Oh, that's all right. It's good practice. You didn't look like you needed any practice. You can really handle that gun. Yeah, well, I hope you can handle one, too. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Well, if you stick around town much longer, that mine will be looking for you. Well, there's somebody I gotta find first. Good luck. Hey, Sheriff, you, uh, you know a fellow named Charlie, too? The half-breed had just saved your life. What are you doing here? I saw you riding up ahead. If we're going in the same direction, I might like some company. Me? Yeah, why? I'm a half-breed. My name's Joe. They call me Charlie, too. I thought you said you were staying in Downeyville. Oh, yeah, I was, but uh, that fellow I said I was looking for, he already left. Big Charlie Monahan. I guess you never heard of him. Everybody in Downeyville knew him, though. Sounds like a pretty important man. Oh, he was important. One day in his life, the day they hanged him, he was my pa. I'm sorry. Raised me from the time I was a little kid. 
What happened to your mom? She died when I was a baby. I said of mine. Never even knew her. Are you heading out? Yep. Where are you going? Virginia City. Look, I live in Virginia City. Why don't we ride along together? Virginia City, huh? You know uh, Ben Cartwright? Yeah, yeah, I know. She's got a family? Mm-hmm. Friends of yours? Yeah, yeah, they're real, real good friends of mine. You don't pick the right kind of company. Well, I picked you, Charlie. Doggone. Ain't you hey, little Joe? Hey, how you doing, Jed? Good to see you. How are things on the Ponderosa, Joe? Well, they're fine, just fine. Say hello to your pa and horse. Oh, yeah, man. I sure will do that. You take it easy now. Starting to smell good. I'm hungry. How about you? You sure talk a lot, Charlie. <sighs> oh, come from Salem City with a washbowl on my knee. Going to California, gold us for to see. What's the matter? Uh, you don't like my singing? Well, whenever I'm hungry, I sing. Let's eat. <laughs> eh, I guess it's not too good anyway. Mmm, this is good. That ranch of ours I was telling you about, you really like it. It's, uh, it's kind of land a man can feel free in. So my pa saw it when he first started. I think you'd like my pa. We got, uh, got a lot of cattle, good grazing land, real good fishing, great trout fishing. A lot of hard work, but a lot of fun along with it. What's the matter? Don't you like my cooking? Where are you going? Something I gotta do alone. Who are you gonna kill, Charlie? That's what it's all about, isn't it? You are riding into Virginia City alone? You're gonna kill that Ben Cartwright, aren't you? What's that got to do with you? You saved my life. I'm trying to do the same for you. You're riding into a lot of trouble. There's no reason why we can't ride alone together. Suit yourself. Need to do some talking. What's the matter? Something wrong? Oh, probably not, Paul. Look, just sit down, and relax, and let me get you a cup of coffee, and I'll tell you all about it. Horses. This desert country is going to be pretty rough on them. Here.
Thanks. So you're just going to kill him, huh? How are you going to go about it, Charlie? You're just going to ride into Virginia City, ask for Ben Cartwright, and start shooting, huh? Maybe, maybe. What do I have to say to you? How do I make you listen to sense? Well, don't try. Just don't try, because we're on different sides. You don't understand me. Oh, come on. Stop feeling sorry for yourself because you're a half-breed. No, no, you don't understand what it's like to have people laugh at you and make fun of you and call you names. To look in their eyes and see nothing but hate. You don't understand any of that. You're just like all the rest of them. Am I, Charlie? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, Charlie. I'm a white man. I'm a white man, Charlie. I don't know that kind of hate. But I know enough about hate to see it in your eyes. You want to kill a man. You don't care if you're right or you're wrong. You just want to kill him. Just trying to make you see it, Charlie. I'm trying to make you see it because I want to be your friend. But you gotta give me a chance. to see you. Yeah. Uh, we could sure use some water. Yeah. Uh, you can, you're welcome to anything you'd like, young fella. Just a pot of coffee in there. You and your friend here are welcome to a cup. I'm riding out to Virginia City. Charlie, why don't you, uh, why don't you go fill those canteens, huh? Got to get this horse reshod. Spade's coming in tomorrow. They're going to need him. Don't look around at me when I'm talking to you. My name is Cartwright, Joe Cartwright. The fellow I'm with is called Charlie Two. He's out to kill my father. When you get to Virginia City, I want you to warn the sheriff. You say something, young fella? Yeah, we're, uh... I'm much obliged for the water. I'll well, say we grab some of that coffee he was talking about. You were going to tell him to warn the cart rights, weren't you? Don't make no difference, Joe. Don't make no difference. your gun, Charlie. I gotta stop you. I've done everything I know how. See, the man you want to kill, Ben Cartwright, he's my father. All right, unbuckle your gun belt. Slow and easy and drop it on the ground. Tomahawk, too. Nice and easy.
Little Joe should have been back by now. Oh, Pa, go easy on him. He just lost track of the time he's been gone, that's all. Yeah, he's always losing track of time. Should have more concern about the feelings of others. He could have sent a message. Maybe he will. Unless he can't. Unless he's some kind of trouble. Where? Where are you going? Well, maybe I'd ride down around Downeyville. It should be around there somewhere. Yeah, what if you run into Charlie, too? Well, if I run into him, I run into him. Look, Paul, he knows you. He ain't never seen me before. Why don't I go? Oh, so I'm a big boy now. I'll just find little Joan. We'll come on back home. Stay, stay right there. You get ready to draw. There's no way to settle anything, Charlie. Well, it's my way. Gun isn't going to make any difference. Won't make up for anything. It'll make up for what you did to my pa. You saw your pa shoot an unarmed man. And if it wasn't for you, my pa'd still be alive. Maybe be alive. If it wasn't for the law. And if it wasn't for laws, maybe none of us would be alive. I don't want to hear any more. Now draw. Charlie! Joseph, stay out of this! Well, go ahead, Charlie. Shoot me. Go on, what are you waiting for? I've got a gun on. Well, go on, shoot me. You're big Charlie Monahan's kid. Prove you're a killer just like he was. Well, go ahead, shoot me.
Hey, Charlie. You never wanted to kill anybody. It's just not in you. See it. See you. Just got back from Carson City. I stopped on the way in Donovan. Uh -huh. Sheriff Calvin told me what happened. I'm sorry. I understand you got the Monahan boy here. Well, yeah, he's inside the house. Okay. Well, take him off your hands. <laughs> what for, Clem? Uh, Sheriff Calvin told me that boy threatened your life. Now, that's true, isn't it? Sheriff Calvin told you that? I wonder why he'd tell you a thing like that. Joe, I'm doing fine. Good to see you. Uh, this, uh, this is Charlie, too. Charlie, too. Uh, Paul, me and Charlie are going to take a ride around the ranch. I want to show him some of the Ponderosa. Oh, good idea. Go on, son. Charlie, I'm going to show you a stream that's got the biggest trout in it you ever saw in your life. Oh, I come from Salem City with a washboard Joe. on my knee. Joe. And I'm... Huh? You uh, told me once you only sing when you're hungry, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go catch some of that trout and start eating fast. Hmm. Oh, Ben. You got any plans for that boy? Well, he hasn't had any schooling, and I thought if he wanted to have an education, I'd see to it that he got one. Of course, he'll have to make his own plans. I, I'll just help out any which way I can. And then I guess he's going to be your responsibility. Yeah. You know, Clem, I guess in a way he has been. Ever since that day his father was hanged. <laughs> <laughs> 